what we're looking at here is uh, proximity sensors and in particular we're going to look at capacitive proximity sensors now um, proximity sensors basically are sensors that detect uh, a material that's coming in front of the face and, and inductive proximity sensors which is something we'll look at somewhere else uh, detect metal uh, capacitive sensors are, are sensors that detect really any other non-metallic material and traditionally they, they've come in this kind of package size which is a, a threaded barrel sensor uh, quite a hefty body on them and uh, one of the problems with this kind of sensor is a the, the physical size um, which makes it need to, to take up a lot of space and because they're threaded you need to then make a hole in something make a bracket uh, and really that makes it quite difficult to, uh, to retrofit if you've got a, a, a sensing um, application such as detecting liquid uh, in a tank where you, where you don't really want to have to drill a hole in it. So when we look at them in a little bit more detail we're actually going to look at the, the CFDK25 which when we see it a little bit more closer up you'll see how, how it compares in size in particular to this and how easy it is to, uh, to use in any application. So looking a little bit closer at the capacitive sensors, what we have here to show them physically is in the left I've got a, uh, a 30 millimeter capacitive sensor, 30 millimeters diameter. As you can see alongside the CFDK, that's actually uh, less than 30, 30 millimeters top to bottom. If we see it side on, the, the thickness of this is six millimeters and, uh, and obviously it's about 25 millimeters wide. And, uh, this, this is great feature of the, the CFD K25 is that uh, it is easy to retrofit. You can imagine the one on the left, you'd have to make a bracket, drill a hole, and really physically that's going to get in the way of a lot of things. And when we look at the CFD K25, it comes with uh, a Velcro strap and a plastic clip which allows a, a variety of fixing modes. Uh, here we've got it around a small tank. This could be an ink tank on a, on a printing machine but there's, there's holes in the physical body of the sensor and being flat it can actually be glued on the back so that it could be just stuck onto something instead of using the, uh, the bracketry. So it really is a, a really simple sensor. It has uh, the four models that, uh, that it comes in have sensing distances from a few millimetres up to 12 or 15 millimetres. So despite its small size, it really has got quite a decent sensing length. And uh, just to show how easy it is, to, to fit, we've got the strap around the tank here. So if you were doing this as an application, the, the sensor literally just goes in there, clips in like that, and the strap can move up and down so that uh, you can have whatever level you want to detect. And we're just gonna show that uh, how this operates. I'm gonna pour some liquid into this tank. And as it, uh, as it gets to the level of the sensor, we'll see that uh, See that the sensor there turns the LED on it comes red, and on the sensor tester that's changed as well. Um, and if we just slide this up the tank, we see it goes off, and obviously bring it back down, and it goes on again. So uh, fantastic little sensor there, particularly when it when it's capacitive, and often people want to detect when tanks have gone empty or when tanks are full and switch pumps on and, and you can use the signal output to obviously drive other devices to do that. So quite a versatile little, uh, little sensor there and there's data sheets available online uh, if you need any more information on that.